YouTube. Welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob. And I wanted to show you a in-depth look of the new logos that I've made and will continue to make. And kind of give you a rundown, a rundown of what we're going to do. I'm going to have to find another place to do videos. <laughs> anyway, uh, what we've got here is we've got the Bison logo. And all of them is going to have the hole for the keychain ring. Even the magnetic ones. And I've got magnetic strips on the back of each one of them. And they stick pretty good. Of course, I don't have any metal out here. That's aluminum. Uh... But trust me, it works. I te checked it out on my refrigerator. Now, I've got four of these as of now. And then I've got four keychains. Now, I've got different colored rings, but don't, don't plan on that being a theme because I, that just happened to be the ones that was available and they were different colors, so... I was in a rush to get them, so I just ended up getting different colored ones because it was a pack of multicolored. And then I've got a silver one. But these here, it's already wearing off, so they don't last very long. Once you put keys on them rings, it wears it off anyway, so they're going to be silver. But uh, they'll, whatever one you get is whatever you get. <laughs> uh, so what I'm planning to do is these here are going to be used, these here and my air strippers. Now I had to unlist the air strippers until I got completely moved because I didn't want to have to hassle with sending something out while I'm trying to move. So uh, I discontinued that and I'll relist it once I find the air strippers. They're in a box somewhere and I can't find them. So once I find them, then uh, I'll relist the air strippers, and I'm also going to make a listing for the keychain and the refrigerator magnet. Now you can put this in your vehicle on the dash if you got an older dash that's metal or whatever. You can put them on your toolbox in your shop, and if you do get one, I'd sure love to see a picture of that. Uh, so I plan to use these and the air strippers as a way for my subscribers to contribute to the shop so that they feel like they're getting something in return for their contribution uh, now these here are 3D printed and hand painted. I just got finished painting them. In fact, they're just a little tacky, so you're going to have fingerprints in them too. <laughs> uh, I won't charge extra for the fingerprints. Uh, so those are just the, the prototypes, and uh, I'm going to list them for sale. The Magnets or keychain have equal amount of uh, work to put into them because I 3D print them, and I hand paint them, uh, I hand paint the camouflage around it, and I got to do a little sanding around it to get rough edges and sharp edges and stuff like that, and clean it up and uh, then I got the rings and then I got the magnetic strip which I cut out of a business card. That's why the one side, my logo is bigger. That's why I want each side has a flat side because it wasn't as big. But that's all right. Uh, no one's looking at the back anyway. If they are, they can get them out of your house because they're too nosy. <laughs> so uh, those are going to be, let's do it $12.99. So, the magnetic refrigerator magnet of the Bison logo, which is plastic, 
or PLA and uh, those will be $12.99 and the keychains are the same because they have the equal amount of work to do to them uh, the air strippers will remain the same price I think I've got them on there for $18.99 but don't hold me to it I can't remember if that was the, the price I'd settled on uh, so those are ways that you can contribute to the channel and you feel like you're getting something in return. Uh, so don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. And if you do want to contribute to the shop, without that, you can go with PayPal at bisonworkshop at gmail.com. And... Every contribution gets me closer to getting my shop back up and going. So I can bring you guys content. So right now we're in kind of a lingo mode. Uh, haven't got the benches done yet. And uh, every time I pull the tarp off of the uh, wood, it starts raining. Every single time. So... I'm hoping I get a break here soon so I can actually cut some wood. I don't have enough room in there to cut it inside the shop. And I really don't want to clean the mess up. So outside it falls in the grass and you rake it a little bit and it's done. It's over with. Uh, so anyway, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. You guys have a good one. Later.